Okay, yes, so I got you. you dude, it takes two seconds to take a picture. <laughs> <laughs> it's not hard. Got cameras all times. Okay, what is up, everybody? It is the Money Match Gaming Podcast. I am here with my boy, Dan. What's up, everybody? I'm going to accentuate words like Lance here. (laughs) What's up, everybody? This is Dan. This is the Money Match Gaming Talk Show Podcast Extravaganza Christmas Special Spectacular uh, Thanksgiving Day Parade uh, Hanukkah Special Rugrat Episode. Uh, yep. Yes. Uh, and I obviously forgot to introduce myself, but that's how yeah. it is sometimes, you know. <laughs> so for those who don't know, I am uh, the Infinite, a.k.a. the CEO of Money Match Gaming, a.k.a. Land, as Dan already said. And when our powers combine, we become... Right. Fused, it's getting even better. Though you guys... I just have a hard time getting my fingers on the screen. Right, right, right. That, We're going to get this. Difficult. We're going to like perfect it one of these days. Yeah. There's I'm... always going to be a little gap because, you know, the way screens work. But Right. We're... Yeah, I, I could back up and then do it. But like well, then yeah, I, exactly. I, I, would, I would literally have to back up. And like right. that's like the hard part and stuff like that. But today, you know, of all days and all extravagant places and so on and so forth, we are talking about what's coming in, de- ooh, in December. That, yes. Where'd I go? Yeah, I messed it up. It's cool. It's all right. Guys, it's really, I'm a ghost. Oh, dude, I'm he's a ghost. gone, bruh. He's I'm gone, a... bruh. Bruh, he's gone. Again, then he's bros. back. Oh, I'm back. All right. Yeah, there up, you go. Guys? I'm back. Uh, I just wanted to make sure I had all the conversations out in, in front of me because I don't at the moment. You know, and then people start talking and you kind of mince it. But, you know, more or less, we are talking about what's coming in December movies, yep. games, TV shows, although, you know, it's honestly a pretty light month being that it's like the holiday month and everything is there's like especially with like game releases there's a two week span where I don't think anything comes out. Yeah, the last the last half of the month they're just like don't even worry about it. We're good. <laughs> We're good we we got what we needed, all right? Yeah, exactly. We got it, all right? But None of this but other stuff. this this specific week is a big boy week. It's big boy week. It, it is big boy time. It is the big boy week. Should we get? Should we just get into it? Should we just go uh, right? Sure, in? sure. Let's let's go into the games, man. Let's let's do it. All right. So, uh, we're gonna. Uh, I'm gonna talk about all the different. What? How did we do this again? I do the whole thing, and then we go back and talk about games, or do we pause in intermittently and talk about the games? Um, just... no. It's it's like if if obviously. Well, we go down the list, and we mention everything, but we only stop and talk about the things that we want to talk about. Gotcha. Okay, so let's start with December 3rd. That was yesterday. The PlayStation Classic came out. Now, if you don't know what the PlayStation Classic is, it's essentially like the mini NES or the mini SNES or the mini Genesis, where it's a little mini PlayStation that comes loaded with uh, like 20 or 30 games. I don't remember exactly how many. And uh, the hype for it is not quite as high as any of the Nintendo ones, mainly because the games they chose for the the PlayStation, the PlayStation Classic, are most of the titles are not really the biggest PlayStation games. They're just like games that are owned by Sony, so it's e- easy for them to get like the rights for. 
but a lot of them like a lot of the biggest PlayStation games I don't think are on that list, which is a bummer, but it is what it is. Uh That's then we're terrible. talking I didn't what? know that. <laughs> That's terrible. I didn't know that. Yeah, there I mean like there's some of the like Twisted Metal I think is on it and like a couple of the like Ape Escape might be there, but for the most part, like a lot of like Parappa the Rapper I don't think is on there. Uh, I don't think Spyro or Crash are on there. Uh, there's a lot of omissions that should should not have been omitted. Uh, Final Fantasy, like people thought, like one of Final Fantasy games should be on there, specifically seven. But it's probably all of a rights issue. They couldn't get the rights for him. But anyway, uh, today uh, came out. Obviously, show them, show them. You got it. A bang. Persona Four. Uh, or Persona 3 and Persona 5, Dancing in Moonlight and Dancing in Starlight, uh, as well as the Endless Collection, which is Persona 3, 4, and 5, Dancing. I got those today. I was playing them a little bit before we recorded, and uh, I'm a big fan. They, you know, the rhythm games are great, and uh, that's my steez, and I love Persona. So, you know, just, pers- you know, Persona music, rhythm game, you can't lose. Um, in addition to that, just cause four came out today and monster boy and the cursed kingdom i was looking at monster boy actually you know we we got you got the list you sent it to me and everything like that and that like if it didn't cost money i would definitely play it like right it, it was it was actually a really interesting game and it seemed like it was like a more in depth platformer so mm-hmm. to me, like it definitely looked interesting, you know, at the very least, and it's it's probably a really good game. It's just one of those types of games because number one, it's a platformer, and I don't know if I've emphasized it enough. Like I like them, but I really don't like buying them. But dude, I would rent this all day. I would rent this all day, Dan. So he gets a big rent stamp. <laughs> right. That doesn't mean it's a bad game. No. Hey. Doesn't rent, mean it's a bad game at all. I wouldn't rent a bad game if I didn't want to play a game. I just wouldn't play it. Like. That's it. I, I I rent games that I'm like somewhat interested in, just not enough to to go full steam ahead. Or if something that's short that I could just like beat in like a couple sittings. Like this, I rented Pokemon Snap. This is one of those games that I could I could I could definitely rent the shit out of and be happy, like with my decision. Like e- easily, just know that I'm gonna be happy with it. You know, beat it, be able to put it down and and kind of walk out my way. You know, and just. Just be cool. Now, I don't really know the price of this game. I just looked it up and was like, wow, this is actually probably a really good game. It looked like it was probably developed a, really well and everything like I that. So it's, it's probably a cheaper game. I don't think it's a $60 game, but I honestly don't know too much about it. Uh, just from like the pictures I saw, I, just, I was like, oh, it's probably like a $30 game or something like that. But I'm not sure. But let's move on to December 6th. Uh, a very unfortunate game uh, day for games because uh, I don't think either of these will sell very well. But first, Probably. we have Gungrave VR for PSVR, and on the PlayStation 4, we have Last Remnant Remastered. Uh, I'm actually a fan of Last Remnant. I hated that game. I wanted to like it so much. I played it on the Xbox when it first came out because I was like, yes, finally, a Square Enix game on the Xbox that I can play. I'm so excited. And I played it for like an hour, and I was like, I hate this game. <laughs> well, they should have explained some of the mechanics a little bit better. Because to this day, I don't know the mechanics. But I did get to the last boss. Dang and man. the remastered, like, the version on, you know, my PC, it froze. And I don't mm-hmm. know if you know me, but, like, you know, this happened with a couple games. And then something in me dies. All right? Right. Something in me dies. I don't know. It's just, like, all of a sudden, my motivation to beat the game... Mm-hmm. dies so right. let me name a few games that this happened with because they're okay. like some of them are really good games um one legend of dragoon i never beat the game like like the the fight took me like two hours and then i just got so frustrated at like doing the same sequence over and over and over for like two hours that i just yellowed and turned all my dudes into dragons and then you know obviously it has this uber move that like you're you're not supposed to use your dragon form you know, and you know, he uses the remove. All my dudes die, and I'm like, yeah. <laughs> um, the second one was Final Fantasy X. Um, got to the end. Got to the Jacked fight, wasn't or Sin? Sin was the yeah. final boss. And then I was just like, ah, meh. 
I, dude, there's something wrong with my brain. But yeah, I'm I'm excited for it. You know, I might I, actually. That's how I was with, like with, for Prototype. Not that that was like a great game or anything, or even a hard game. But like, I got pretty much to the very end of that game and never finished it. Because every time like something else came and caught my eye, and I stopped playing it for a while, and then one day I was like, I'm gonna go back and play Prototype. And I was like, I don't remember how to play Prototype. I'm never <laughs> playing this game again. <laughs> I did make it pretty far in Last Remnant. I just, that one free, actually, I think I did beat Last Remnant, but it was like four years later, because that's an old game, so, yeah. yeah. So, December 7th, we have Subnautica on the PS4 and Xbox. We have Player Unknown's Battleground finally making its way to the PS4 on a very unfortunate day, uh, a day where I doubt anyone will buy it. Oh, maybe. I mean, there's a ton of people who don't have Switch, I guess, but on the Switch, we have or the Switch and PC. We have Katamari Damacy Reroll, which is a game I've been excited for. Uh, well, since I heard about it, but I've been wanting a new Katamari title or even a remaster of the old Katamari title for quite some time now. So I am very excited. However, I cannot get it at launch because it also comes out the same day, December seventh. Uh, I think we all know it's coming up. Super Smash Brothers Ultimate, the only game that. Money Match Gaming cares about, you know? <laughs> That's this not is, true. It's <laughs> not true, all right? No, but this, it is, but this is the big one. This, this is the, is big the one. cash cow. This, not even just the cash cow. It's just, it's, I mean, who doesn't like Smash, dude? Like, I know so many people in the past, like, month that have bought a Switch just because they're like, yeah, Smash comes out at the end of the month. So I'm not I'm not beat for that. Uh, so I know so many people that have done that. I, I know one guy who bought a Switch and had it shipped to his brother's house because he's going to be at his brother's house on the 7th. He's like, I'm not beat for playing Smash. Like, yeah. So, obviously, everyone's very excited about that. That's going to be the the thing that kind of puts pause the pause button on all these other games and everything. Like, that's why I'm playing, like, I'm trying to play Persona 4 and or Persona 5 and 3 Dancing All Night, like, hard these next couple days. Because I know Thursday's the Game Awards, so I'm probably not going to play and then immediately following the Game Awards or in the midst of watching the Game Awards, I'm heading over to GameStop to pick up my copy of the game. So, yeah. yeah like, this game's going to be huge, at least at launch, you know, and we'll see how people feel about the game and stuff. I really hope it doesn't flop because this this is actually going to do so much for the realm of Nintendo. Not to say Nintendo's struggling. but I don't think it can flop. I, I think there's too much, like... Do you mean flop is in like if it's a bad a game competitive sense? I don't think it'll be a bad game. And anyone who's played it so far has not said like bad things about it. I mean that's true. That's true. It it really is true. But like at the same time, it, it can flop. It can flop. We've seen some games I mean, that yeah, it, flopped. Yeah, it, it, it could be it did. could brawl. But the difference between brawl and this is no one played brawl before they got their hands on brawl. People have played this game and have already been like, oh, this is pretty good. And the new engine is is definitely faster and changes the the way a lot of characters feel and play. Right, right. I I'm not scared that it's gonna flop, but it can flop. I, the only reason I'm mentioning it is because of like what's going to happen when the game releases. So when Smash Four was was out and stuff, and we would stream Smash Four, you know, we could be in the top five streams and so on and so forth. But I've been in other like really, really, really popular streams, and they're like, "Oh, easy. It doesn't matter what's going on. That day I'm playing Smash." And it was like right. literally from it it it. it, it it was from realms of, like, Heroes of the Storm. It was Fortnite right. streamers like Daquan. Or not Daquan, because I'm not sure if he is. But definitely Hamlins, you know? Like, there's just tons of people. And this is going to do this weird crossover to where so many people are excited for this game. And so, <clears throat> I don't know. That's the only reason I'm saying it. I, I really just don't want it to yeah. flop. I don't think... I, I think there's too much power behind it. Specifically with the all the other characters from any other games. Like, this is going to be a hype game for a bit. Like, even if it comes out... And it's not like the most incredible thing in the world, even though I think it has every potential to be. But I, I think this is going to be a game that that survives for a bit. I mean, it's definitely going to replace. Oh, did I lose Dan? Dan! Dan, no! <clears throat> Real kit, quick, fellas. I need to reach out to my co-host, see what's going on.
<clears throat> yeah. More importantly, man, like like he's saying, there's a good chance that it won't. But you know, there's 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 always that small possibility, and and I'm just hoping that it won't. You know, because I mean, like obviously this is like a really important game for Money Match Gaming, and what it is we do. So you know, like I, I kind of really don't want to make the shift or anything like that if the game does flop horribly and stuff like that. And so you know, <clears throat> it's not going to. But but. There's there's obviously that chance that, you know, things go horribly wrong, <clears throat> you know, because then, then what? Then what? <clears throat> so, uh, Dan's having a little technical issues. There are a few games uh, that he does have on the list. I'll come back to them uh, when he gets here. I'm going to go over some of the ones that we weren't super, super interested in. Um, so, December 11th. Uh, there's Solar Flux for the Switch. Um, I looked it up, you know, it, it, it really wasn't, it wasn't me. It wasn't me, you know? <laughs> and, and maybe when my pockets get a little bit deeper and, and I get a chance to play a lot more games, you know, we'll see how that goes. But, you know, I, I wasn't feeling it. Uh, December 13th, we have Omnisite Definitive Edition for the Switch. Uh, look this up. Eh, you know, kind of, kind of, kind of whatever. Uh, and there's one other final game for December uh, that I'll kind of come back to when Dan gets here. Um, <clears throat> actually, we'll, we'll, we'll kind of stop there, you know, and 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 kind of hope that he gets back and stuff. Because otherwise, this will be an interesting podcast. But you know, a few decently interesting kind of movies, possibly. So, yeah, 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 see, yeah. And there he goes. He's back. We're good. Hey, sorry about that, everybody. My, uh, my internet decided to go down midstream. <clears throat> it's cool. Uh, That's called yeah, life. And it just, it just completely disappeared. That was the weirdest part. It was just, like, not showing up in my network list. But, like, my two... <laughs> my my the bridge that my parents have downstairs like that was showing up just not my regular network and it went down on like everything like even the things I had hardwired so it was very confusing that I could connect to the side networks right but anyway I'm back yeah so you can finish your statement although I did go over December 11th and 13th just because it didn't seem like super significant to us so no it, it's not and uh, I I don't even remember what I was saying but Smash is gonna be it's different. not gonna flop. It's that's, that's pretty much that's, basi saying. that's basically it, yeah, that, that is that is correct that is basically my my thoughts on it i don't think it i think it's too powerful to flop at this point yeah and then i'm just i'm just like you know <laughs> never say never really that's all that is that's the only energy that it is like in that specific moment is that right there never say never because i'm gonna have a good time i had a fun with brawl i had fun with project m i had fun with melee i had fun with 64 I had fun with the stupid 3DS one. I, I stopped having fun with the 3DS one. At a <laughs> but, but but I had fun initially. So it'll be good. It'll be good. Right. Um, but yeah, so let's move on. We also have December 14th. Uh, Borderlands 2 VR comes out for PlayStation VR. And uh, I don't know why. There's no real reason for it. Uh, sure, it might be cool. Maybe. And I don't know. There is a reason, Dan. There is a reason. Like, eventually, the day will come where people will need to design games for VR. And sometimes you just have to throw some projects out there even if they fail. And that's why that exists. Like, it's if a $60 game still, though. It's a, it's, it's a VR version of a game that's been out for, like, six or seven years or eight years. It's been a while now. It still costs money to make. Sixty dollars. It, it right. still costs money to make, you know. So it's like the concepts are there. Oh, what's going to happens in there? But like, at the end of the day, like you still have to change the way the mechanics work. I'm sure you have to change coding. I'm sure you. Well, have yeah, to they have to pair. change because you can't can't play a multiplayer. The mo you know, the most fun part about Borderlands playing it with people you can't do in the VR one. There you go. See, yeah, I mean, there's there's so things that need to change people's abilities. So it, it's just uh, it, unnecessary unnecessary in my eyes and i'm a big borderlands guy anyone who doesn't know borderlands 2 is my favorite game so the fact that i'm shit talking the existence of a vr version is kind of ridiculous but 
It just doesn't. It doesn't need to exist. It's silly. It, and uh, it, it does because then they're gonna come out with the Borderlands. It's not, it's, the and future. it's an exclusive. It's an exclusive. It's a PSVR exclusive. You can't even get it on other play on like on other VR. It's rooms. a test child, and I respect it at the very least. I respect I it. I think, <laughs> I, I think it's You're tarnishing my bride. I, I no, I like, and I normally I don't care. Like a company can do whatever they want, and they can obviously they fucking made the game. They're gonna put out the game, but like, I just think it's kind of silly. I, I'm not, I'm not huge onto the VR craze. I've played a few VR games; they're fun, but it's not something like that I can see myself being like, oh, time to VR it up. Let's get to level seventy-two in Borderlands VR. Like, no, oh, it'll be like fun to play for like twenty-five minutes, and then I'll be like, ha ha ha! All right, I'm done with this. Right, because that's how all VR games feel for me. It'll come around. I think it'll come around. I hope not. I, I think VR is kind of silly. <laughs> Sorry. Ready I'd prefer the one, I'd prefer the Nerve Gear. Ready Player One type stuff would actually be pretty cool. No, I'd prefer the Nerve Gear from Sword Art Online. That too. Where it just like takes my consciousness and puts it into a game rather than you got to move around on this crazy treadmill thing attached to all these strings and have a thing on your face. Like, nah, dude. Something... Let me just knock myself out and then be inside the game. That's cool too. I, I would I, I would like that as well. But I, but I think I think it should be layered in many different things. I'm not one of those guys that believes like in really linear progressions of things. Like now we're done with this and we can do away with it. So like anytime people are like the internet's here, TV has to disappear. It's like nah. No, it actually doesn't. Oh, the, the internet's here, Netflix and all that other stuff. Cable has to go away. No, no. I mean, they might have to evolve a little bit, you know, and they might have to change the way the programming works, how the monetization process works and all that other stuff. But I don't think it has to disappear. You know, it's, it's kind of like energy, too. I think about energy this way. I think there's actual value in being able to use multiple different kinds of energy sources. And although there might be the cheapest option, you never know what the world's going to bring you. And exploration and all these different ideas are kind of... A thumbs up for me, I guess. Yeah. But anyway, that's the last <laughs> of, the, of the games coming out this month. Uh, that's it. That's all I got. That's all we got for games. Uh, not a crazy loaded month. Nothing other than Smash. Nothing of really huge merit, I would say. I mean, granted, I'm, you know, there's a bunch of games that I'm excited for that I'm going to play, but nothing on like game breakingly exciting. That I don't know. People forgot that Just Cause 4 came out today. I didn't even know it came out today until I saw videos of it on Reddit. I think that's how most people found out about it coming out today, which is usually not a good sign for a kind of AAA title. But I don't think anybody wanted to com like compete with Smash, to be honest. I wouldn't. I don't think anyone th thought they could compete with Smash. Correct. That's that's why I think yeah. that, that that's why I think it's a light month. No, well, and like the last two or three months were all super crowded and also december is not a good time to release your game because the way you make a lot of your sales from black friday and the leading up to christmas shopping if you release your game too close to christmas parents aren't buying that shit for their kids it's too too soon they already did their christmas shopping they do their christmas shopping early they get it done so they don't have to worry about it later if you release it the day before two days a week before christmas whatever your sale numbers are not going to be as good as if you released it three weeks earlier, you know? Yeah, there's some truth to that. Um, but yeah, so that's it. We're And now we're heading into movies on December 7th, the day of days, this Friday. Uh, we have Anna and the Apocalypse, Ben is Back, and no. Mowgli coming to Netflix. So Ben is Back. You so want to talk. yeah, Ben I is no black. I, I have it like half highlighted and stuff, and that's just simply because you know this is about the the mother that has like the heroin addicted son, and he like kind of comes back and you know they're having that conversation and he's kind of like struggling with it and so on and so forth. And I just I'm glad that movies like this are coming out because I think our zeitgeist is as as a humanity works in weird ways, and the media has like mad power on people's perception on things in the world and just them kind of creating a movie around that simple problem i think is good for the universe 
Um, am I going to go see it? Probably not. But I did want to give it that praise just simply because it's a movie about drug addiction and probably some kind of opioid of some kind. Because it actually really is a really big problem. Um, it, yeah. it became a lot more aware when my wife got a job working for, you know, the opioid task force for the military and stuff like that. Um, and, you know, I, I actually know a couple of people who overdosed and stuff like that. And it's unfortunate. So it's just it's just good vibes for me that, that's that's why i brought it up so good vibes i i had never heard about it i had heard of anna the anna and the apocalypse which looks kind of interesting but i had not heard about ben is back i heard about mogui too but that's just because it's the jungle book but right. by different people which is weird but anyway december 12th we have once upon a deadpool which is uh the retelling of deadpool 2 as uh it, it's what's his name it's deadpool Telling the story to uh, what's his name from? Oh uh, no, what is his name? Fred something or other from the Wonder Years. Fred Savage. Boom. He's telling the he's telling like a bedtime story to Fred Savage, and it's just Deadpool two told in a more family friendly tone. It's like a thirteen version of Deadpool two. Yeah, I don't know what that looks like. I only highlighted it because, I don't know, like, I really enjoyed Deadpool 2. Yeah, you know? it's just Deadpool 2. It's, that's what it is. Just with, like, more scenes of him reading to Fred Savage in bed. Which is a reference to something else, but I don't remember what. Okay, I got you. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to go see it twice, though. But I did, I believe I gave the movie a perfect score, right? Or was it a 9, or was it a 10? I honestly do not remember. It's okay. been a long time. I gave it a thumbs up, so that's essentially a perfect story back in the day for me. Anything that got thumbs up was perfect. Right. There's only two, two possible outcomes. I think the only thing I gave a thumbs down to at that time was uh, The Dark Tower. Yeah, we, that, that was the biggest one. That's probably was, still, like, the worst movie <laughs> the ones we've seen. So That sucks, too, because I wanted not it to good. be good. I wanted it to be good, though. So I have people talk about it all the time. They're like, oh, man, did you? Did you see the Dark Tower? I'm like, don't, don't, don't see it. Don't. don't do it. Please yeah. don't. Please, please, please do not do that. Don't hurt yourself. Uh, but anyway, we're moving on to December 14th where we have Box Lux, The Mule, Mortal Engines. You How want to you talk about I want to see Mortal Engines, dude. I don't know. It's like it's made by the same people that made Lord of the Rings or whatever, or the same I dude. And... I don't. I don't like the Lord of the Rings that much. So. Oh come on, dude. They're boring. They're, Dan, like, they're no. fun to watch once, and then every time after that, you're oh my god, did you do anything but walk in this movie? No. Walk, Dan. Walking the movies. Dan, yeah, no. no. I'm, not, I'm not super into the Lord of the Rings movies. Sorry. No. I, wa- I wanted to when I was younger. When I watched the when I watched Fellowship of the Ring, I was like, oh, I really liked that movie. And then I bought the extended edition, and I was like, and I tried to watch it like a couple years later. I was like, oh, this is the worst thing I've ever seen. Nothing happens. They just walk. They walk for four hours. I didn't need an extended walking movie mix. The third no. one is pretty good. It's like oh, action. No. So, was it wasn't wasn't super big on those movies. Hey, I, love so I have no real care for uh, Mortal Engines. Plus, it comes out on the same day. Uh, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, uh, which is something that I'm much more excited for. I mean, I don't... I, I guess we just... Yeah, okay, we'll agree to disagree. I like I like the segue and Listen, the move you, into the Spider-Verse. You, you, can, but... you can like whatever you want, man. I don't, I don't care if you want to see it. Cool. I don't. But I, I will. But I don't want to see it. It's not on the top of my list of things I want to see. I, I, I get that. And especially but... not on December 14th. Well, I get that too. It's just I don't understand why. It, it really does look like an interesting movie, and like Lord of the Rings is like definitely one of those all-time classics. It's an all-time classic. Easy. Teach their own. Yeah, sure. Like I, I listen. <laughs> I know a lot of people that like Lord of the Rings. I'm not shit talking Lord of the Rings. It's just not my cup of tea. It's just kind of boring to me. Okay. I know a lot of people who feel the same way I do. Right. And uh, I didn't see any of. The, I saw the first Hobbit movie, and I thought that movie was atrocious. I did not watch any of the other two how bad the first one was the first one was literally there was a scene that was about 30 minutes long of just saying what the names of all the stupid dwarves were like really 30 we needed to waste 
a half hour of this movie being like, and this is freaky Binklebums, and he's a crazy dwarf. Look at him eat. Like, what? Come on. Get out of here, Peter. Get out of here with that crap. I like those movies, too. Hey, man, that's fine. You can like them. I don't. Uh, But Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse looks awesome. Looks incredible. Yeah, it it should be interesting. Hopefully. We'll see. I I mean, I'm definitely going to see that movie. Probably the opening weekend or around that time. We might talk about it. We might not. There might be a a standstill because Lance will go see Mortal Engines and I'll see this. (laughs) And then we'll just talk about why the other one was better than the other one. I would, I would never, I would never. I would um, never. yeah. So let's move on. Uh, December nineteenth, we have Mary Poppins Returns. Uh, so sequel to Mary Poppins. Cool. Yeah, cool. Uh, December twenty first, we have Bumblebee. Welcome to Marwin and Aquaman. Uh, Lance, I'm, you talk. It, yeah, I'm not. I'm not like super crazy excited about Aquaman. But I do want to see it. It, it looks for I'll say this, and this is coming as a guy who does not enjoy really DC at all, like most of them. Like I don't think any of the DC, DC movies in recent years have been any good. The last one that I thought was good was The Dark Knight, not Rises, just The Dark Knight. Dark Knight Rises was not good, but uh, yeah, this one looks entertaining. It looks like a fun time. So I might end up seeing this one, even though I'm not super crazy about the DC characters, but it looks fun. It looks enjoyable. So Yeah, it, it it just looks interesting. And then, you know, they picked the perfect uh Aquaman, I think. What's his name? I I know you probably know. Jason Momoa? Yeah, he's like such a manly's man and like I don't know. You just kinda have to respect those things, I guess. Yeah, I mean he looks cooler than Aquaman ever did in the comics, I'll oh, tell you that. For much. sure. Easy. So uh yeah, no, I think I think that movie will actually be pretty fun. I think it'll be enjoyable. I'll probably end up seeing it. Um, yeah, actually, I didn't highlight it, but Welcome to Marwin, I thought actually looked kind of good. That's the Steve Carell movie with the toys. Yeah, yeah, I, I saw that. I wasn't very interested. I thought it looked good. I like Steve Carell a lot, so that's why I was like, oh, this could be good. But I don't, I don't know 100% how it's going to be. But anyway, December 21st, we have... Bumblebee, which I think is a now that's I think this is the official reboot of the Transformers franchise, uh, is starting with Bumblebee. Is that uh, is that really what they're doing? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, because this is a different Bumblebee than okay. the one that was in the other movies. This one's like a like a bug, and I think it's I don't know if Michael Bay has anything to do with these movies, so probably be less explosions. John Cena is the bad guy which is weird because I haven't seen John Cena be a bad guy in anything in a long time. Right. Especially in wrestling. He was, he was the good guy in wrestling for like 10 years, 15 years. Um, then we move on to December 25th where we have Holmes and Watson. We have On the Basis of Sex, the Ruth Bader Ginsburg movie. And we have Vice, which I didn't highlight, but you did. And uh, I do want to see that. Okay, okay. Why yeah. don't you want to see Holmes and Watson? That seems like your kind of movie. No, Holmes and Watson, listen, Holmes and Watson does look entertaining, and I probably would want to see that movie. I just didn't highlight it because I don't know enough about it to talk about it. All I know is that it's starring Will, uh, Will Ferrell and John C. Riley. That's all I know. I never watched a trailer for the movie, never seen any promotional material, just know that it exists, and it has those two guys in it. Gotcha. So that's why I didn't highlight it, because I was like, I don't know anything about it to be like, eh, I'm excited for it. I'm just like, eh, it's a movie that'll probably be fun. Mm, but yeah. uh, Vice, on the other hand, Vice looks pretty good. Uh, directed by Adam McKay, who does all sorts of movies. The Hangover. No, that, that's Todd Phillips. He did uh, Anchorman. Anchorman's Todd McKay, which is funny, because uh, Steve Carell's character in that in, at the end is like he went on to serve under president george w bush and then the character he plays in vice is serving under george w bush so it's kind of like a con- continuation of that character story but it's really not because this you know the person he plays is a real character and the uh, one in anchorman obviously brick tamblin is not a real character right. but this movie looks really good uh, it looks I, I trust adam mckay he makes a lot of movies that i like um and the cast is really good. There's a very good cast in that movie. So I, I imagine it's going to be a fairly good movie. Right. I, I kind of really do like politically charged movies. 
And, you know, like, this is definitely one that I can actually go see with my wife and, you know, we can go see it together as, like, a thing and, you mm -hmm. know, just kind of be more in tune with, like, political things. Because I, I go up and down when it comes to political things. Like, mm -hmm. I, I get worn out emotionally about those things. So, you know, this is an opportunity to kind of explore that, but at the same time, you know. Yeah. See, most likely what's going to be a decent movie. Yeah. So. And then on December 28th, we have Stan and Ollie, which is, I think in the past two months is the fourth movie with Steve Carell coming out, something like that. He's in four completely different movies in the in the span of like November and December, which is pretty interesting because prior to this past couple months, he was hadn't seen Steve Carell a lot. So that's that. December twenty eighth, Stan and Ollie, and that is all for uh, the movies coming out. Just uh, curious, do you know what Stan and Ollie is? Uh, I don't. Okay. I know cool. he's in it. All right, all right, cool. Uh, I was just curious uh, yeah, because... No, I, 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 yeah, I, I've seen the... Once again, I've seen the poster. That's it. Yeah, yeah, I thought it was kind of really close to, like, the... Um, uh, Holmes and Watson? Three Stooges? Oh. Almost. That's what I thought it... From the poster, that's what it looked like, but... Uh, Larry, Moe, and Curly are the names of the Three Stooges. So I don't know where Stan and Ollie came from. I think but, it is kind of like a... Not necessarily like a... It's it's kind of like a biopic type deal, I think. I think I don't know, you know. Don't quote me. Like I said, I've right. only seen the poster, guys. Calm down. And I only uh, watched the the trailer, which kind of doesn't really give you much. It just gives you kind of clips of the movies and stuff like that. So you know, it it looks interesting. But that's what it reminds me of. It reminds me of kind of like a little, you know, Three Stooges type of situation. And I don't know. Maybe mm -hmm. this is where the, the the character characters from the Three Stooges originates or something like that. Who knows? Let's stop. High, you know, guessing, I guess. Yeah. You know? we'll, we'll, we'll get to it when we get to well, it. Yeah, well, yeah, exactly. It's going to come here eventually. So eventually we'll probably read something about it. Um, anime, as far as anime goes for the month of December, nothing really starts up. Nothing new. The seasons for anime usually start in January. So come January, we'll probably have a long list of animes coming out that month. Um, going on to TV, this is another thing. Most of the TV things coming out this month are, go figure, holiday specials. I don't know why, but every show decides they're going to do a holiday special uh, around this time of year uh, for obvious reasons. And uh, it makes it so that not a lot of uh, non-holiday special things come out. So, But what we have is on December 5th, Marvelous Miss Maisel Season 2, which is actually a, a fairly good show. I watched the first couple episodes on Amazon uh, about a woman comedian uh, getting her start where she, you know, she just really wanted to be a comedian. She wanted to tell her jokes, uh, but being a woman made that kind of difficult, especially she wrote a lot of jokes for her husband and her husband never used those jokes. Instead, he used jokes that he stole from another comedian. So people didn't like him so much, but then one night uh she her and him cut things off and then she went on stage and did a, a not really a routine she was just kind of venting her thing and uh people thought it was hilarious and uh, the story continues from there but i've uh judging by how well received the first season was i imagine the second season is also going to be good and that is on amazon prime on december 7th we have the only christmas special that i'm really concerned about which is the neo yokio christmas special uh that is an anime with a pretty crazy cast. There's like Jude Law, um, Jaden Smith, uh, Jesus and Miro. Um, what's his name from all the uh, from Rushmore? Why can't I remember his name? Jason Schwartzman. A lot of people in this, and, and it's a funny show. There's a six episode season on Netflix now. Check it out. Christmas special comes out December seventh. Um, December fourteenth, Fuller House season three. It's a house. It's fuller than normal. Uh, it's the third season of it. Um, <laughs> December 21st, we have Marvel's Runaway Season 2 on Hulu. Uh, what I imagine will probably be the last season of that show on Hulu, just because the way things uh, are going, it seems like everything that's made by Marvel is getting canceled off of anything that's not the Disney streaming service, probably because they're doing a Disney streaming service and they're going to keep all the Marvel properties on there to make it easier. But uh, Marvel's Runaway Season 2 comes out. Uh, I didn't watch the first season. My buddy really likes it, but he has a 
bad taste in a lot of things. So it might not be, <laughs> might not be good at all. I honestly. <laughs> and then on December 30th, we have Orville season two, uh, which is like, I think like a fake Star Trek show made by Seth MacFarlane that everybody seems to hate. Uh, but it got a season two, so that's coming out December 30th on Fox. So you're into Orville, into fake Star Trek, into Seth MacFarlane. There you go, baby. It's, it's there. And that's that's December. That's December in a nutshell. That's it. I know. This is, it's going to be a sweet December, I think. You know. Yeah, I mean, well, I mean, December truly starts in three days. Right. And, then it, and it also ends. <laughs> that's the only thing they do. <laughs> that's that's the dream it's it's, it's yeah. the christmas so you know yeah that kind of does it for our podcast for what's coming in december i imagine um, we'll all be streaming on friday i'll, I'll probably even be streaming fuck it yeah I'll be, yeah I'll, I'll, be I'll, be, I'll be home i'll be i'll be up there thursday actually i'll be streaming uh, i'll probably be streaming thursday for a night. long time too I'm or yeah out. yeah exactly you know what i meant you yeah, know yeah, what i meant yeah, thanks yeah. for correcting i was thinking me. about doing that too but uh we'll see well, i might I have it also. Like it's not hard to set up. I just have to, you know, do it. Right. I got Friday off and Monday off. So like, I'm, oh, okay, nice. I'm, I'm, I'm nice really, yeah, going ham. There's some yeah, other I, things in it, but like, yeah, no, for I, sure. I took I took off Friday, and uh, I took off Friday like two months ago. And like the dude who's covering for me, it's like the the son of the boss, and was just like, hey, uh, what, what's going on? What are you taking off for? Are you going to another wedding? And I was like, oh no, Super Smash Brothers comes out. And he's like, oh. I got you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he took off the day FIFA came out. And so I was like, yeah, so I'll take off the day Smash Brothers comes out. Um, Respect. Yeah, I, I, yeah, exactly. I talked to him today. <laughs> like, I was like, without question, man. I, I, I've considered putting myself into a two-day coma just so I could just wake up and play Smash, you know? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to get, like, monsters. I'm going to put them in my fridge, man. Like, I'm, I'm serious, man. It'll be, like, monsters. 4 o'clock in the morning. I'll wake up and I'll be like, I don't. Mm. The the one flavor of monster I ever liked, they discontinued. So I don't, I don't, I don't get energy drinks anymore. Sadly, uh, I mean they're not good for you. This, oh, there's no. nothing sad about it. I, they they're, taste they're, good. T- no, they, man. yeah, they do. I, Mo- monster assault was that jam, dude. That was a tasty beverage. It was like if you gave me Mountain Dew Code Red, but you like spiked a little crack in there. Like that's that's what Monster Salt was. That was my jam. I've that never was had my it. jam, dude. I would like go. I'd go to Seven Eleven. Like that was back in my Wow days, man. Me and my cousin would just like go to Seven Eleven, pick up monsters, and be like, just just play Wow at five o'clock in the morning. Game on. Hell yeah. Game on. But uh, yeah. that does it for us. Uh, we'll see you guys later. Thanks you guys for coming out. It's been good. It's been fun. Have uh, a good December. Next next week, we're talking about. Uh, what is it like ban- banning culture in games or like nerfing culture? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna expand on it as well as it, like it, it kind of blends into balance as well. But you know that that's what we're shooting for. Yes, banning heroes, characters, and I'm sure. And video games. Guess guess what might come up in conversation there? Super Smash Bros. Probably. R- right, 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 right. That, that's, there's, that's... Already, dude, there's people already calling for characters to be banned, and yes. the game has not come out yet. Uh, it's it's ridiculous. It's getting out of hand. That's it why I want to talk it about is, it. it. And it, and it spreads over multiple genres. <coughs> Overwatch. Oh, yeah. Delete Vegeta. But uh, once again, it's been good. We'll see you guys next week. Uh, hopefully at the normal time Mondays but uh until then goodbye bye enjoy smash and the game awards <laughs>